Hey everyone, it's Maureen Yates. Back in August, I had the incredible opportunity to travel to Italy and France with the group travel company, Contiki. You may remember them from my Israel and Jordan trip vlogs, but if you're new, Contiki is a group travel company for people ages 18 to 35. They plan your itinerary, book your hotels, and even set you up with a full-time tour guide to lead you around each day. Unlike my last trip with them where I traveled with a friend, however, I was joining for this adventure completely by myself, not knowing anyone else who would be there. This is definitely a bit outside my comfort zone, so let's go ahead and see what happened. It is travel day, I'm so excited. <laughs> Gonna miss ya. Aww, you. Aw, you wanna fit in my suitcase? Okay. <laughs> Woo! Great! Good. Oh my gosh. Hope there's nothing breakable in there. Just kidding, there's not. <laughs> I need to head to the airport. I actually should have left already, so we're gonna go there now. I hope I got everything. We'll find out when we get there. I actually slept for three hours last night. This flight is at 3 p.m. I land at noon tomorrow, which is gonna feel like 3 a.m. for me. So we're gonna hope that I can sleep on this plane. But my Uber's here. group dinner this group is so nice i love everyone like i think it's gonna be a really great week it's currently about 10 p.m and it's this whole day has just been that dinner for me because i've been sleeping good morning from rome day two we have a huge sightseeing day ahead so i'm just gonna let the clip speak for itself it's also a million degrees out so i thought a little maxi skirt would be good or midi skirt whatever you call it it is day two in rome we are kicking off the day bright and early with a tour of the Coliseum. From there, we're gonna go to the Trevi Fountain. This is our awesome camera crew right here. Putting together a video on the trip. Today, we're getting kind of a grand tour of Rome. Later on, I think we're going to the Trevi Fountain. Yeah. I didn't meet you yesterday. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Jack. <laughs> bite number one of the trip. This is everybody in our group taking a little break. Fragola. Very fresh. First gelato. Here's our lunch spot. Busy place. Getting towards Capitol and Hilda. <laughs> this was a photo prop, but this is literally becoming my third gelato of the day. Dinner time. We're now in a little plaza. We have some more nice fountain action going on. Time to go get some more carbonara. Guys, Lizzie McGuire movie soundtrack music. Look at this platter of spritzes. I've never seen anything more beautiful. Okay. 
guys, it is our final day in Rome. We're actually about to head to the train station. I've not explained quite yet why I'm actually here and what we're all here for is to test out a new trip with Contiki. I think it's their Mediterranean Quest train trip or something. Basically in the past, they've done everything by a uh, bus or coach and this is the first time they're doing this trip by a train. So save some time, see some more places. Next up, we are heading to another city in Italy, so. Let's go. This is the reality of traveling. This is just gonna like flying off and put out a knife. This is progress since I walked away. Right. All right, meet my trip friends. Hi, Hi. Lil. <laughs> it's Carmen who's walking away. Where are we going next? What's our next stop? Cinque Terre. I just wanted someone else to say it because I don't know how to say it. <laughs> like Harry Potter, but not at all. <laughs> We're at the next hotel. Yo, nice and trendy. This is the next hotel room for me and me. Which one will I sleep in? Probably this one. Nice room, quite big. We got a desk set up. Quick update, check-in. We're in our next city. Me and Lil, another girl on the trip, are gonna go get some lunch, a little late lunch, because we're having a much later dinner tonight at like 10, 10 30 p.m. because we have a sunset cruise. We're so excited. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick get ready, and then we're gonna have such a fun night. Boat outfit for the night. My swimsuit on and under, but I thought, Wearing a little skirt would be comfy. We love it here. We love it's it so here. nice here. It's so <laughs> quaint. I'm so happy. Lord, this is the experience we were up It to. really is. It's also a very obscure meal hour. It's four. I'm just gonna ask. Jake is being very picky. What's good enough for you around here? Yeah. Past several options. <laughs> we have not much time. Most of all, asking you guys if you get sorbet or gelato for snack time, and you guys go to gelato, so I got some mint gelato. Mm. So good. This is how committed we are to having snacks on this boat. <laughs> this is our boat for the evening. <laughs> oh, yes. So we're gonna be on my phone all day in the prettiest place we're going, because I'm stupid. We're getting a little hike to go up to get a better view of this. class so I posted asking which dress I should wear they're literally exactly the same I want to wear the black one but I feel like people are gonna vote for me to wear the red one because I never wear color and I've made too much of a big deal about that so 
<sighs> Time will tell. Close up shot and the winning dress. Oh, you already saw it. It's the plug! Which is great news because I put on the red one and it's so wrinkly like it needed to go in the bathroom when I was showering or something because it was just fresh out of my suitcase. So wrinkly and the black doesn't show it as much. So, outfit of the night. Thanks for voting. Helping me choose my outfit of the night. We are now in route okay, to, go we're in route to our pesto class. <laughs> I got on, I was like, this is a brisk entry. I know, honestly, truly, truly. Are you sitting there? Yeah, sit there. Uh, am I allowed? Yes! Yeah. Tour guide Danny. The coolest tour guide. Hey. <laughs> Flashbacks. Can't make this turn on the booze. <laughs> no way. Believe in him. There's physically no way. No chance. She feels confident. Look at this. Well, he thinks he's going to get involved. Now en route to our pesto making class. <laughs> Made it to the class. <laughs> Made it to the class. <laughs> Kicking things off. Oh. Everyone's up. Here's my concluded pesto. Doesn't look the prettiest, but she was made with love. Yummy. To think that we made this, just kidding. We didn't make this. I know, I'm kidding. People have often said that I give them like a Gordon Ramsay energy, so it's finally coming through. How are your students doing? Very good. Oh yeah. What's up? Yeah. Morning today, we are, <laughs> okay, that was my first word today, it seems my voice has dropped an octave. We are about to depart from here. Still unsure about the pronunciation of where we are. It's raining. Still don't know how to pronounce where we are. And every person on this trip has an accent of some sort. So it doesn't even help me understand how to say it as like an American. <laughs> it's been awesome in this city. Our pesto class last night was so fun. Maybe the most fun we've had so far other than I need to insert because this was all taken on my iPhone. In one of the little towns, we were walking around because we had some free time after lunch. And most people opted to go swim and we were going to do that. But on the way, we saw this like big rock cliff thing where all these people were jumping off and there was this old man at the top. We like see the old man, so we're like, oh, like we'll just wait for him to jump off, it'll be cute. And he continues to like stand up to go do it and then like go sit back down. And we got so invested. We watched this for like, at, by the end of this, it was a 40 minute experience. So just imagine how invested one can get in 40 minutes when you're like, I've already waited here for so long, I will not leave until this man jumps. We're like 30 minutes in and the whole time I'd been like, should we cheer for him? But like, ooh. should we chant for him? Also, where we're watching this, there's like this huge like railing uh, bridge type thing. So, so many other people are watching him as well who've been there the whole time. I decided, I was like, all right, let's just cheer for him. Let's commit. Cheer for him, ready? Should we do it? Woo! <laughs> so we did, and then as the time went on, we got like, we led that, you know? We really did. We like got the entire crowd and like everyone in the water into like cheering. He had an audience. Yeah! And then he'd like get up to do it. And then at one point he like disappeared completely and we're like, he's done, like he's getting down. But then he came back up. <laughs> For season two, you were not expecting. So we could only assume that he was like stuck there and couldn't climb back down because the rocks were like actually pretty crazy. And so then some more people from our group walked up because it was like time to go to the train. And then one of them just started yelling a countdown. She was like, three, two. Three. And he jumped on one. Oh, Daddy! Daddy! So it was just like such a cute little experience. I left there just like on top of the moon. I, like you would think that's the most fun I had on trip. I was so excited. Finishing packing, I'm gonna head to the train station because next we were going to Nice. Max train. Board the train. Comfy. Board the train. Ready for a nap. <laughs> we have two trains, so we're gonna do a little, uh, a little layover, if you will. Made it to Nice. We're about to head to some night market for dinner. We have a very intense game going on back there. Need to catch this breaking content. Oh, oh, oh. 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 say it again. Yeah. Everyone's just saying my name over and over. It's fueling my ego. Ooh. 
niece looks nice. Look Get it? <laughs> <laughs> it is so pretty here. Yes, Carmen. Final full day on this trip. We head home tomorrow. So right now we're about to go on a bike ride to a winery tour and head out right now. New trend. Safety. I'm dying. <laughs> on our bike ride, we're on these like electrical bikes, but <gasps> we should go parasailing. Except for they're like about to fly into this building, so perhaps not. Oh. <laughs> Under layer. You long, I've never seen you sweat my whole life. We've been together this whole time. <laughs> Launch time. Mm -hmm. It's like Florida, an abomination. Oh, I'm like, Are you good? I think you're like <laughs> having heat stroke right now. All right, wait. Uh -oh. Somebody. It was a nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers! Final night! Aww. <laughs> Not only have you now made me Insta famous, but you've now made me uh, some lifelong friendships. So thank you. Very much. Aww, to head to the airport. If you like what you saw in this vlog and you're interested in going on this trip, I'm gonna have it linked below. I just wanna give some closing thoughts as I always do. And I feel like this is like the repetitive speech I give on every group travel trip that I leave, but people are just great. Like this has just been such a refreshing week for me to be able to meet so many awesome other people. I've just had a wonderful time here and just being able to live it up here and shoot a cool video. They were following us around with that camera crew the whole time. So I'll have the video linked as well. So you guys can see what they made of that. What a time. I'm always thankful to go on opportunities like this. In conclusion, I just want to thank all of you guys for continuing to watch my videos and support me. And I'm gonna head to the airport. Thank you again to Kentucky for sending me on this amazing adventure. If you're considering traveling alone, I highly encourage you to do it. At the beginning of this video, I was meeting a bunch of strangers and only a few days later, they become my friends who I still keep in touch with months later. I think traveling by yourself is one of the best things you could do. Again, I'm gonna have this trip linked below. It is brand new. So if you're looking to save some time traveling by train, I recommend that you check this out. And let's get into some bloopers, shall we? It's still on the trip. Still on the trip. <clears throat> okay. This isn't going well. Morgan! Hello, Hello. You just got me ugly crying. Alright, okay. Yo, Kimbo. Let's make 